नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द सारथी टेक्नोलॉजी इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव क्रिएटेड ए बार चार्ट एंड नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डू सम मोडिफिकेशन इन दैट चार्ट सो हेयर ऑन योर स्क्रीन यू कैन सी वी हैव दिस कोड एंड दिस इज वेरी सिमिलर लाइक प्रीवियस वीडियो सो फर्स्ट लेट्स रन दिस एंड सी द रिजल्ट here you can see we have this output and in this chart we have three bars so first is here the second is here and this is the third and in this chart we will do some modification so first is set the y axis increment and after that this x axis increment so here after this code we will use same this my plot my plot dot set range steps set range step and it is asking two values first is mode and second is value so mode is step mode dot increment by val comma then it is asking for value so value is the range that we want to increment so if we want 100 100 increment then we need to put 100 and if we want 200 increment then we need to put 200 so we are just putting 200 here now for the x axis same my plot dot set domain step and here step mode same increment by val comma the x axis increment so here we are going to put 1 and then run this here you can see we have this increment 0 then 1 then 2 and for y axis you can see 200 increment so 15 73 then 17 73 okay and before that 13 73 now the next is set the domain boundaries so boundary is the range from minimum to maximum so here my plot dot set domain boundary set domain boundaries and it is asking three values first is lower boundary then upper boundary and the mode so lower boundary we will put 0 comma for example 3 okay because we have three values so we can just put 3 and same for the range boundary here again it is asking three values so first is lower so lower will be 0 then upper boundary so in y axis we have the maximum value 1965 okay here you can see so this is 1965 and we are just making boundary little bit greater than the maximum value so we will put 2000 okay then the third is mode so mode is fixed boundary mode fixed same i forget to put here so boundary mode fixed now let's run this and see the result
and here you can see for the y axis the minimum is 0 and maximum is 2000 which you can see here 0 and 2000 and for the x axis minimum is 0 and upper boundary that is 3 ok so you can see here now let's move further and let's learn how to increase the width of these bars and we can also set the space between bars so just minimize this and for that first we need to extend two classes ok so first is bar formatter and the second is bar renderer so here class my bar formatter extends bar formatter and now first we need to create constructor so press alt insert from the keyboard and constructor now we can select the second bar formatter and here fill color and border color so press ok and now we need to override two methods so first is press ctrl o from the keyboard and type get renderer class ok here you can see press enter and now the next override is get renderer instance so press ctrl o and type get renderer instance press enter and now we have these methods and constructor now let's create another class so class my bar renderer bar renderer and here we need to just put my bar formatter so my bar formatter here you can see red line so press alt enter and create constructor matching super ok so now we have these two classes and next thing we need to change something here instead of this bar formatter we need to use my bar formatter Okay, so we have just changed the bar formatter to my bar formatter. Now we need to create my bar renderer object. So here my bar renderer renderer equal to my plot dot get renderer and here my bar renderer dot class here you can use type cast so my bar renderer
ओके सो नाउ द नेक्स्ट लाइन इज रेंडर डॉट सेट बार ओरिएंटेशन एंड हेयर बार रेंडर डॉट बार ओरिएंटेशन डॉट साइड बाय साइड ओके सो यू कैन सी साइड बाय साइड स्टैक इन ऑर्डर ओवर लेड सो वी आर जस्ट यूजिंग साइड बाय साइड एंड लेट्स रन एंड सी द रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस साइड बाय साइड ओके सो बिफोर वी रन वी नीड टू डू सम चेंजेस दैट आई फॉरगेट सो फर्स्ट इज हेयर वी नीड टू चेंज दिस रिटर्न माई बार रेंडर डॉट क्लास एंड द सेकेंड इज हेयर रिटर्न न्यू माई बार रेंडर एंड हेयर plot okay so now let's run this and here you can see our project is running and the bar you can see side by side okay so let me zoom so zoom is not affecting the width of this bar so what we need to do we can just increase the width of bar and that we will do here so render dot set bar group width and here bar render dot bar group width mode so we have two type of mode fixed width and the second is fixed gap so first let's see the example of fixed width and after comma the width is for example 100 pixel okay so let's run this here you can see if we have more than one bar then it will equally divide between the lines so this is the one and if we have two bars one will be displayed right side and another will be on left side and if we increase the width for example 500 you can see the result so in this case if we are increasing the width the bar width is getting thicker okay so now the second example is fixed gap so here fixed gap in this case we are increasing gap between bars okay so either you can increase or decrease so if we have just 50 pixel gap then you can see the result here you can see gap is 50 pixel so if we increase the gap the bar width will decrease okay so if i am making it 100 the gap will increase and bar width will be decreased okay so this was the example now one more thing you can see yellow bar is hiding so it is the best idea to set the minimum value 
minimum from our data so in our case x axis is starting from 0 so we need to put boundary minus 1 ok so here minus 1 now here you can see x axis is starting from minus 1 and ending from 3 and at this moment the graph is very nice looking okay so you can do one more thing that i am not showing here but you can just set automatic boundary of y values the idea is very simple get all y axis values and save in a single array and find the minimum and maximum value in that array and then you can just set the minimum and maximum boundary of y values using that array so if array contains maximum value 1965 you can just make boundary 2000 and here in this case minimum y axis value is 173 so in that case you can just make boundary either 0 or 150 whatever you want okay so friends this was the example how to do some modification in bar chart if you like this video then please hit like button you can also subscribe this channel for more upcoming videos and also you can share this video with your friends thanks for watching see you in the next video till then bye